My name is Rachel Jones and I work for the charity organisation Butterfly Conservation. We applied to Biffra Award for funding to help us increase the populations and distributions of the rare large blue butterfly in the Polden Hills landscape in Somerset. Management for the large blue butterfly is complicated because of its predatory nature and complex life cycle. The eggs of the large blue are laid on wild thyme, which is where the caterpillars will initially feed. After a few weeks, the caterpillar is taken underground into the chambers of a certain species of red ant. The caterpillars cleverly attract this ant using sweet secretions from a special honey gland, and it then tricks the ant using mimicry into thinking it is an ant grub. The caterpillar will then hibernate until spring, when it will feed on ant grubs. It will pupate underground and crawl to the surface before unfurling its striking black-blue wings. Here we are in the centre of the Polden Ridge. The large blue was reintroduced to this landscape in the 1990s and now we want to strengthen the populations and make them less vulnerable to the impacts of both weather and management. Through the Bifra Award project, experienced ecological contractors and project staff were able to monitor habitat for the large blue across 14 project sites. This allowed us to provide feedback on both grazing and management work. We were able to survey food plants, ant density, grass heights and butterfly populations. The grant helped us improve over five hectares of limestone grass and habitat by cutting back scrub species such as bramble and blackthorn. This was achieved with the help of both volunteers and contractors. To follow up on this, the grant enabled us to conduct over 30 days of ruderal control. And we were also able to install 900 metres of fencing to enable future conservation grazing. Wild marjoram seed was sown on eight sites. This is an alternative food plant for large blue as it is more drought resistant than wild thyme and it also flowers later in the season. So we're hoping that this will offer an alternative food plant in the face of climate change. In addition, we were also able to help the rare licorice piercer micro moth known from only two sites in Somerset. With the Wildlife Trust, we planted seeds of wild licorice on three locations on New Hill Reserve. Attracting and training volunteers was a key element of the project. 18 volunteer practical tasks were held with the project partners and through this volunteers gave over 400 hours of time collectively to manage sites. This time is increased further when taking into, into account the time spent monitoring the butterflies. We were able to advertise and offer a series of training events including a butterfly ID workshop, transect training, wild licorice seeding, large blue ID training and we were even able to offer a training day on counting brown hair streak eggs, another locally important butterfly. Becky got involved in the project in December 2014 after seeing a local talk advertised. She has been a key volunteer in the project since. Hello, my name's Becky and I've been helping uh, plant wild licorice seed um, to help bring the, wild, uh, the licorice piercer moth to this site. It's very rare and it's only on two sites in the county. I'm hoping it will encourage the licorice pierce and moth to the site and the numbers will grow and spread. 2013 and 2014 were poor years for the large blue due to the impacts of periods of both unseasonably hot and cold weather throughout crucial stages of its life cycle. Thankfully, the work funded by Biffra Award to improve habitat along with suitable weather conditions meant that in 2015 large blue population numbers had increased in both population and distribution. There is still a lot of conservation and monitoring work to do to restore sites, but the grant from Biffra Award has allowed us to make great improvements to habitats and involve and train more volunteers. The East Polden's Large Blue Landscape Partnership Group and the great team of volunteers will continue to work together to maintain sites and improve habitat. On behalf of Butterfly Conservation and the rest of the East Polden's Large Blue Landscape Partnership, I would like to thank the Landfill Communities Fund and Biffa Award for funding us to help the Large Blue Butterfly.